Okay, my insulin pump is giving me a warning for low blood sugar, so I'm going to check it. It does a couple things to alert you. One is, uh, depending upon your settings, it'll vibrate first, and then you'll see a little flashing uh, LED light. That's another way to know that your pump is has just given you some sort of alarm that you need to respond to. So let's see what it's saying. We're saying alert before low, 4.08 p.m., Sensor glucose approaching low limit. Check BG, blood glucose. So I'll say OK. And now it's saying 91 and a triple arrows. Triple arrows basically means that uh, the blood sugar is dropping very, very fast. Now within the book it tells you the exact rates per minute of how many uh, milligrams per deciliter it's dropping. But uh, triple arrows means it's dropping very, very fast. So I need to react uh, kind of quickly. But first I'm going to check my blood sugar to make sure that my insulin pump is not uh, incorrect or that my uh, continuous glucose monitoring sensor isn't incorrect. Now something else uh, to keep in mind, when you're calibrating your continuous uh, glucose monitor, it typically tells you do not do it when there's a when, that it's at a high rate of speed or a very low rate of speed of dropping. Because uh, that's because uh, it takes about 20 minutes for the glu continuous glucose monitor sensor to uh, to catch up and synchronize uh, with what your true blood sugar reading is. Uh, this sensor that I have on, which I just put on, I think day before yesterday, has actually been uh, pretty accurate within uh, 10 uh, uh, units uh, of what I've been measuring. So it's been uh, pr pretty good. So let's uh, check out what's happening. All right, so there's my blood tester. Hunt my contour next link, Medtronic. We'll see what my blood sugars is. Apply blood. Okay, I'll try it. Now, of course, uh, they'll tell you, they meaning the medical professional, professionals say um, you should wash your hands first and then also clean it with alcohol, then check your blood. I don't always do that, honestly, ever, actually. So, it's, it's actually kind of uh, after a meal. So, I uh, will scoot it down to after a meal. Oh, 68. So now I get sent the reading to my insulin pump, sent 68, so it says treat low blood sugar, do not bolus until blood glucose is normal and monitor. So I said okay. Calibrate sensor. I go ahead and do it even though blood sugar is dropping rapidly. I'll go ahead and do that. Bolus, I'll say bolus even though it's, it's not going to give me a bolus because right now my insulin pump is programmed uh, for a target blood glucose range of 100 so I don't need a bolus but I always just cycle through anyway. Again it gives me another warning, low blood glucose, treat low blood sugar, do not bolus until normal. Now what happens is when you have an insulin pump um, you, you may have the habit of just ignoring these warnings and things. Uh, I think it's best in practice to actually follow them every time. It's automatic saying no bolus amount entered, canceling bolus and it also just vibrated. So now you see it's calibrating. The it was registering 91 and stopped going down the downward trend. It's calibrating. It takes about 10 minutes for the calibration to complete. Shut off my thing. All right, that's it. The next one I'll go over and I'll start talking about the uh, trends I've noticed in the continuous glucose monitoring. On my next video, I'll talk about that. Thanks for watching.